Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And it's like 10.30 tonight. Uh, the table was busy all day, so... Sorry. I get all itchy from the masks all the time. So anyway, um, I had to wait till tonight and when everybody went to bed so I could do this haul. And I, I'm doing the haul that I promised you guys. Uh, there was a little bit of time difference because uh, uh, I had some problems with my new phone. But I got it all squared away. So, so this is the Christmas stuff I bought the other day. And um, hopefully I'll, I'm going to be working at the... Well, I probably won't get any Christmas stuff. But uh, I am working at our church resale shop on Thursday. And hopefully I'll get a bunch of good stuff there. Anyway, um, I am trying to get a nice big group of stuff when I do my Christmas in July sale. Um, I'm going to give it another whirl this weekend trying to find some stuff. But um, anywho, uh, I hope that you all had a great day. Uh, we were supposed to be having bad storms, but they didn't come yet. So hopefully they won't. And um, it is very humid outside. I just took the dog out, and it's supposed to be getting hotter and whatnot every day. Everyone try to stay cool. It's all we can do. <laughs> anyway, um, I am glad you have come to my back to my channel. Uh, if you like videos about thrifting and I do some crafting and other things uh, then you should subscribe so you can watch whenever and hit that notice that bell notice and so you'll know whenever I'm loading uploading a video and um, if you like this video make sure you put a thumbs up so that uh, we'll make eBay happy for or uh, YouTube happy at EB on the brain anyway without more gabbing I'm going to uh, show you what I got so let me get a sip of it's dry in here all right um the first thing I'm going to show you is right in front of me here I got this Scentsy um it still has the wax in it I need to clean it up but this is a Scentsy um wax warmer Smells kind of like a Christmas scent. It smells good. But I'll clean all that up for you. And um, it is a retired Scentsy. It has the little light here to show you, you know, that it's on. Um, it also has the safety um, switch. And uh, so nothing, to me, nothing speaks more of Christmas than a Cardinal. And uh, so you can't get them anymore new, so you can only get them used. Since I don't know when it was retired, but I know it is retired. All right. And the next thing I have to show you is a very dirty Lefton um, Christmas dish. Um, it's in real good shape. I don't see any... Um, I don't really see any chip sets where um, it didn't cover. You know, there I see some, some of the, like, flaws. That might be a little fleet right there. But I don't really see anything major. And it's just a nice little um, candy dish. These have been around. I remember these when I was a kid. My Aunt Pearl had one. And I finally found one last year for myself. So this one I can get rid of. And I paid... I don't remember what I paid for this or the Scentsy. I don't remember what I paid for those. Those I got at a yard sale. Okay, the next thing I got, I had the price on some of this and I think I took them off and wrote them down. Uh, it's this cool thing. It's all um, pine cone you know, pieces. And it says it's made in China, but it had to be made in 
um, a vintage china because this definitely is not new. It has a little, uh, you know, flocked uh, squirrel in there. He's got a little ornament. And uh, it's got kind of a slant. You hang it up and it'll hang it a slant. And it's pretty good size. It's very light. So it's not going to like pull down your wall or anything. <laughs> I think it's adorable. This is probably one of my favorite things that I got. I also have, which I did not bring in. Uh, the car yet it is a very large nativity set um it's it's you know got the manger and um it has all the pieces all the figures uh even baby jesus they've been glued in there and uh probably so nobody would knock them out and stuff mm -hmm. but um that is i think i paid two dollars for it it's really really nice and big so that will be in the sale um, at the Alley Cats Old Curiosity Shop, they had a Christmas sale Saturday, and I got uh, one, two, three, excuse me, I have hiccups, five vintage bottle tree, bottle brush trees. And they're vintage because a lot of them say made in uh, Taiwan. I think it's Taiwan. On the bottom, which, I mean, they're not like ancient vintage but they're vintage so i got all of them i believe they were a dollar no they were 50 cents each so i will probably keep a couple and then i will probably sell some too okay the next thing i got and i paid 25 no 50 cents for the whole stack are these vintage uh plastic christmas um what do you call them doilies and they have little plastic poinsettias on them when they were new they were 49 cents each but the man let me have the whole stack there's only one that didn't have a tag on it and i think that one just might have fell off because i don't think they've ever been used they smell like plastic and i was so excited when i saw these because i've been wanting to get one of these so i will probably keep one and then i will sell the rest Let's see where I might put that one. All right. Then I got some ornaments here. This one I think is the most adorable ornament I've seen in forever. It is called Missy Cucumber. And I can't with I think it's 1985. It's made by Schmid. Look at the fit here. Look at the face on this. Isn't that adorable? I mean, it looks like uh, like a picture out of a book or something. I just think that one's adorable. It's it's porcelain, and Schmidt is the company that makes all the uh, Beatrice Potter figures. So I was so excited when I saw Schmidt. I'm like, okay, I'll take that. So I got that one. That that one was. I think all the little ones were 50 cents. Um, I got this one. It's a uh, Precious Moments 1985. And it is the sweetest little girl. And she's holding some mistletoe in her hand. And if you turn her around, she's got her little fingers crossed. Hoping that some little boy will come along and she can get a kiss. And I think that is just absolutely special Alrighty, i got this one and it's got a sticker on the bottom but it is so small that we've not been able to read it i need to get a a um a loop because my magnifying glass is cheap but anyway it is porcelain and is this pretty little ornament with a um bird on a nest inside i thought that was very special i like the ribbon going through it like that kind of a teal color okay the next one i was real excited about i paid 25 cents for it and i saw it from the back like this and i said oh, 
Is that a chihuahua? It is a chihuahua. We have a chihuahua miniature pincher mix. And that's about as close to a, what I'm going to have of my dog is that. So that one is for me to put on my tree with banded. I, where it says the year on it, I'm going to try to cover that up and uh, put his name on there. It's going to be some mighty little writing because I write big. Alrighty, I got this towel. And what I liked about this one, it's it's embroidered, but I like it because it's it's big. It's a hand towel. It's not just one of those little bitty, you know. Um, I like the neutral color of the back, but so I mean any pretty much any color of bathroom you could use it in. But it's usable, you know. It's and it's real nice, soft terry cloth. Terry cloth. I don't see any tag on it, but. It's very nice. All right. Then I got this, still in the box, a Longa Burger um, ornament, commemorative Christmas collection. And there was all kinds of baskets. And this one is the 1980 Poinsettia basket, and it's um, pewter. And it is marked, and it looks like this. Very nice looking ornament. I don't I don't even think it was ever used. If it was, it doesn't look like it. The box looks, you know, the box looks like brand new. And I think I paid maybe a dollar for that. Maybe not even I might have paid 50 cents for that one too. I I got this adorable little thing. My grandparents um, at Christmas time, when I do my tour, I will show you my Christmas tree, uh, like my grandpa made. I did, he didn't make that particular one, but they made all kinds of stuff out of these beads when they be, would be in Florida. So I thought this was very, very cool and definitely 70s. This next thing is really, my, my daughters are all going to want it, but I'm going to sell it. And it is this very cool tin, um, pretty, it's pretty old because it, the back's pretty messed up, but there's, you know, it's not dented up or anything. It's very, it's dirty, but it's got scenes of Edinburgh, uh, Loch, Acre, the Tresacks, and the Bonnie Banks of Loch Lomond. Should I have my husband saying that? It's called the Klansman Shortbread and Donald Campbell and Sons Calendar and Creef. And yeah, I don't see a date or anything on it. It has the ingredients of flour, butter, sugar, shortening, eggs, and salt. Very typical shortbread ingredients. So that one there is a very cool piece. Um, I got these for 50 cents. There's two of them. They're plastic um, reindeer. Dash and Dancer, probably. But they're... Um, they're older because you can tell by the the feel of the plastic that they're not newer, but they look like this. And they do not stand alone. You can't stand them up. They're ornaments, but by golly, I'd figure out a way. If I wanted to stand it up, I, I'd make some kind of something to stand them up. So I these are nice because they're a good size. You know, they're as big as my hand. I have little hands, but they're still pretty good size. Okay. Oh, well, anyway. I'm getting goofy here. Uh, I got this. I They had a bunch of them. I may have should have bought more than one. But uh, it's a greeting card holder. And even though it's not old, I thought it'd be a cool thing to have for Christmas. 
looks like that when you put them in there. Yeah, I probably should have got more. I'm just, somebody might, I probably could have, you know, sold more than one of them, but I did not get them some. Um, I got this very pretty ornament. It's it's glass and um, I believe it was blown because it looks like a pontal here, and it is then it's frosted here so it's you know been like cut away or something to make it frosted or etched it's etched it's late guys it's late i can't think but um i think it's very pretty um then i got these two this one it has a symbol on the top of It looks like a light bulb, but I don't know. Or music. Something. But it's hand-painted, and it has this little symbol on the bottom. I don't know. Maybe somebody knows what that means. I don't think that's going to focus. But um, it's very pretty. And there's really not any issues the paint's all on it really good so and then this one is from Czechoslovakia it does have a little bit of um like a little piece of glass missing there I would I would probably glue the top on so it would never come off it's got a tag on it it says home for the holidays um home for the holidays anyway handcrafted by glass artisans in Czech Republic and it's really pretty um, it does have some there's a little scratch there and it's got a couple places you know there's some there's a few places where there's some paint missing but all in all it's a very pretty ornament And then I got all these, because I know we all love our wood ornaments. I got this one. These are all made in Taiwan. I thought he was a cutie. And a little nutcracker. And then this charming little girl who's hiding a little tree behind her back. Maybe she thinks it's mistletoe. I don't know. And then this cute little boy or girl. No, it's a girl. On a sled. I thought these were, these are, you know, a little bit bigger ones. I like them. Um, I got this. This one is marked 1992 Day. And it's porcelain. It's thin porcelain, so it's not real heavy. There's the marking on it. I thought this one was absolutely beautiful as well. For those of us who love our blue and white stuff, I thought that was real pretty. And this cutie, it says it's copyrighted in 19... 1958. And it's a little Snoopy ornament. It's porcelain. There's a little flea bite there but he's he's a cutie when I think of Christmas I think of it's a Charlie Brown Christmas all the time sorry folks I have to reach I haven't figured out how to do all these things without reaching and stuff like that it's kind of hard the next thing was actually one of the first things I found at this yard sale, and it was this. And I was very excited. It's it's in beautiful condition. You know, the little face is clean. It's not cracked or anything. And um, the it, I, it was $2. And it is not a tree topper, which I thought it was at first. You hang it on the wall. 
but the way the little skirt is here, I don't know, maybe if you had a really little tree, you might be able to stick it on top. I don't know. But, I mean, it's in beautiful shape. So, I paid $2 for that. And then I got this, and I paid a dollar for it. Oh, I paid a dollar for the Scentsy thing, too. Yes. Um, this is like a putz house. Well, I mean, it isn't like one. It is one. But it's not a real old one. It's made in China, it says. But the cool thing about it is it's got a light. It has a cord already attached, and it has the, the bulb. Well, anyway, it has a bulb that comes in and out. And uh, this is way fancier than the ones I have, the ones that are my mother's. I thought this one was really cool. All right. I guess I need to get going here. This is getting to be long. All right. I only got a couple more things to show. I got this um, sleigh, wigger sleigh, and all the stuff in it for a dollar. Um, there's a little plastic boot. It's not an ornament. It's just a little shelf sitter. Um, well, I got this little dog ornament. It's plastic, and you hang it up by its by its nose there. Um, this is kind of a weird, creepy one. Um, oh, I don't know what that is. Uh, it is flocked. I am sure it had to be made in Japan. And it was this weird looking person, animal, teddy bear. I don't know. But he's in great shape. He's just ugly. <laughs> I'm so nice. And then there's this sweet little uh, wooden ornament. And she's holding... I don't know. It looks like a loaf of bread to me. She's a little angel. Um, Uh-oh. Man down. Let's see. Where can I put these? Then there's this here little guy whose head is kind of twirly. And this is like old... Um, crepe paper and stuff and uh, he's not marked where he's from but I'm sure he's got to be in Japan or somewhere like that let me get this one off the floor huh? and this one uh, is oh another angel and she's holding a little harp Hmm. Then there's a really old candy cane from Fat Fuzzy uh, Pipe Cleaners. And this one is a yarn doll made in Japan. And he looks like a clown. Hi, Misty. I need to go to bed. I'm getting wacky. Um, this one has something on the bottom. It says, hmm, I don't know, something in New York, I don't know. Anyway, it's this cute little um, buggy. All right. Then there's this felt snowman. 
and he's possibly homemade. I would say he might be homemade. He's, he's really cute in good condition. And then there's this little drum. He got, he got kind of smashed up a little bit. Um, with this spun head coming out of it. And I am not sure what the heck he's got various um, pipe cleaner things. Maybe legs and arms. I don't know. It's made pretty pretty weirdly. But I thought it was kind of cool. And last I have this. Um, I have two of them. And they are the Mercury Balls. And they're grapes. Um, Misty had some that were pink. Hers were bigger. These are quite a bit smaller, but um, they're really pretty. And I think I paid maybe 50 cents for each of these. And so that is my haul. And I hope you liked some of the stuff that you saw. Let me know what you thought was your favorite thing. Like I told you, I really like the the, um, I like the plastic doilies, and I love that weird pine cone thing. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Um, oh, and by the way, today is, when you, when this posts, it'll be tomorrow, which is going to be Wednesday. On Friday, at I wouldn't say five, but maybe I should make it six. I'm going to make it five because five o'clock central time, I'm going to be doing uh, a live sale. Um, I figured it out. I got everything squared away. I got a new phone so I could put the software on to, to do it. Um, it won't be much longer and I won't need the software because I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers. So, um, if you, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please subscribe and help me out. Okay. And anyway, I hope you have a good night. I'm going to go and relax for a few minutes before I go night, night. I have to take my pills and watch some more Hallmark stuff. So, um, so I'll see you then. I love you guys. Don't forget, wash your hands and wear a mask. Bye.